Hi there, my name is Dixon Wong, and I'm an award-winning and multilingual tutor at the profs, having graduated from the LSE. I specialize in subject tutoring, in economics, maths, and Mandarin for GCSE and A-levels, as well as 11+, plus, 13+, plus, 16+, plus ISDB and CAT4 entrance exams for the UK's most competitive independent and grammar school admissions. Students that I've tutored, I've gained entry to are currently studying at top UK schools, such as King's School Wimbledon, St. Paul's, Dulwich College, Wickham Abbey, Cheltenham Ladies, etc. And some of the best UK universities, including Cambridge, Oxford, the LSE, UCL, King's College London, etc. 97% of my A-level students achieve at least a grade B or higher, with 72% of them achieving A-stars and A's. And I boast a 100% success rate when it comes to my GCSE students achieving at least a grade 6. So, what I want to talk to you today is, why do some students excel in A-level economics whilst others struggle? I am going to share with you five important tips to help you secure that A star or A in A-level economics. Look, economics is a subject that tests not just your ability to understand theory, but also your skills in applying it effectively in real world contexts. These tips will help you study smarter, perform better, and hit that top grade. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Tip number one, master core concepts. Succeeding in A-level economics would require one to master the core concepts because you'll encounter topics such as supply and demand, elasticity, market failure, government intervention, government failure, etc. Make sure that you know these concepts inside out, including the assumptions behind those theories and how they interconnect with each other in the exam. In the exam, concepts will not be tested in isolation, but rather with various topics combined into one single question. So your ability to quickly join the dots of set example concepts will have a big difference. Of course, please do remember to evaluate the limitations to these models. For instance, the ADAS model might work theoretically, but in reality, what kind of economic events might render a policy response quite unpredictable? Tip number two, develop strong analytical and evaluation skills. If you want that A star or A, you need to go beyond simply regurgitating concepts from the textbook. The best students demonstrate strong analytical and evaluation skills. But what do those words mean? Well, analysis involves explaining the cause and effect relationships between economic events. For example, let's say if the government were to raise interest rates, how would that impact consumer spending, investment, and overall economic growth? You will have to break it down step by step into the most minute detail, and then use chain of reasoning to illustrate your point logically. Think of it like peeling an onion, layer by layer, until you reach the core. Here is the difference between an average answer and a good answer. Rising interest rate makes cost of borrowing more expensive, so consumer spending and investment decreases, which leads to a slowdown in economic growth. Versus, rising interest rate makes cost of borrowing more expensive. Hence, firms will reduce incentive to borrow, thereby reducing the level of investment. As interest rate rises, it rewards consumers from switching away from consumption towards saving deposits, thereby also reducing consumption. These two reductions combined lead to a fall in aggregate demand and hence a fall in real GDP, thereby illustrating a slowdown in economic growth. What about evaluation? Well, evaluation is equally important. It is an equal pushback to the analysis that you just made. So you need to consider different perspectives, offer counter arguments, and think about the weakness of the analysis that you just made. Think of it as finding a chink in this very long chain of reasoning that you just presented. For example, a policy that reduces unemployment might be to higher inflation. So what would that mean for long-term economic stability? Or does that policy reduce unemployment under every single economic scenario? Tip number three, utilize diagrams. One word on diagram, critical. You may have heard of the phrase, a picture paints a thousand words. Well, many answers in both the essays and the data response sections will rely on diagrams. So perfect drawing them and ensure that you can explain not only the outcomes of those diagrams, but also their mechanism. Pay particular attention to the correct labeling and always explain what happens before and after you shift the curves. Doing so will strengthen the quality of your answer. 
Just imagine how easy it would be to show directions to someone with a map versus just using plain words. Diagram can only can also be your get off jail free card on the day. What well, why is, why is I jail, get off jail free card? Because if your chain of reasoning happens to lack sufficient details, explaining how the diagram works and the outcomes before and after any shifts can actually boost your chain of reasoning, thereby extending your logical argument. So, okay, while we don't have to get your diagram to Picasso's level, at least make sure that diagrams are well used, well drawn, and well labeled. If you do that, you're on course for that A star. Tip number four is apply theory to real life scenarios. Economics truly come alive when you can connect the theory with real life examples. The examiner isn't just looking for definitions, they want to see you apply that to current events. That is why it's very important to stay up to date with current affairs using sources like BBC News, the Financial Times, and The Economist, etc. Let's say you ask about inflation. A top tier answer won't just explain what inflation is or what causes inflation, but instead might also mention how central bank like the Bank of England are raising interest rate to curb inflation today. Or if the question is about trade, you could reference how Brexit has impacted the UK trade flow and the current account. So you see, having these specific examples at your fingertips help demonstrate application. I'm not asking you to memorize a lot of data, but just make sure you know a few relevant facts about recent events. This will make your answer engaging and insightful, which has led to a better chance of getting a high marks in the exam. My fifth and final tip is perfect your essay and data response techniques. At the A-level, your ability to write well-structured essays and answer data response questions will be the key determining factor to your final grade. The key is to use a structure framework like KAAE, Knowledge, Application, Analysis, and Evaluation. This will ensure that your answer is clear, focused, and comprehensive. Spend a few minutes planning your essay before you start writing if necessary. Identify the key points that you want to make. Decide which diagrams you want to include. List the relevant real life examples either from your own knowledge or provided to you in the extract. And if necessary, also write down the weaknesses of the points that you want to make. Planning ensures that your essay flows in a logical sequence and help you going off topic. For evaluation, use phases like this depends on in the short run versus in the long run. However, on the other hand, to strike balance between your arguments. Evaluation is highly valued and strong evaluative skills could be that difference between A star and A. Planning doesn't take long, but it transforms a messy essay into a polished response. You should aim to spend up to five minutes planning before you write the answer. Don't underestimate these five minutes these five minutes could save you time and stress much later on when you start writing the essay and also make it easier for the examiner to follow. If you apply these five strategies consistently, you'll be well prepared to achieve that top grade. Don't forget success in A-level economics isn't just about working hard. It's about working smart in a correct way. By taking a solid understanding of the core concepts, developing your analytical and evaluation skills, clear and effective diagram usage, real-world application, then the A-star will be well within your reach. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel where we'll give tutors like you the insider knowledge you need to get out of school and also help you get the best grades possible. Together, we will help you thrive to reach your academic goals. If you'd like to improve your economics performance, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me or with our team of professionals here. The contact information is on your screen right now. I'm Dixon Wong from The Bros. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the very best of luck with your studies.